Hey, what's going on, construction dorks? Uh, welcome back. Oh, where's my glasses? So I can read. All right. <clears throat> anyway, so as you saw earlier today, uh, if you're scrolling through the internet on work hours, uh, one of the things is so we have to we need to make a priority priority drawings for a job. And the architect, you know, set up, we got the Revit file from the architect, and there was, I believe, within the Revit model, I can actually, 124 um, different, so let me, uh, different wall types. So 17 plus 107 is 124, I believe. Anyway, if it's not, it is what it is. So, um, so we had to create a priority wall drawing, which is basically, uh, you know, Walls with a higher fire rating have priority in terms of how they're framed and how they're uh, drywalled, uh, which drywall flies by and which drywall ends. So I experimented a little bit with Dynamo, um, and this script is uploaded. It's on GitHub. You can download it. The, obviously, the model's not. I'll get in trouble. Uh, so basically, the first time I you know, tried to scrap the element types, and from there, I plugged it into all elements of type. and basically got every single wall element, which is there's 11... 34, 1134 uh, wall elements. And that's not what I wanted. So what I ended up doing was, so instead of doing the select um, node where it's, you have to select the element, which is what I saw on some, uh, some of the, I believe it's this node, yes. This node was used in a couple of the forum posts when I was reading, and it, it would just be super inefficient to have to click all these elements. So you have wall types, and then I grab all elements of type, which again is the 1,134, like I did up here. And then I grab elements by name. And then that gives me basically the name property uh, of the family. And like I said, the architect customized them when he, when he or she modeled it. And there was 124. So, but you can see in here, they are putting in the one hour, two hour into the name, basically the fire rating. So from there, I grab wall type by name. So then, uh, it gives me the list of names, and then from there I get a list, a uh, list of unique items. Excuse me. So this is a 1,134. So obviously this is like every single element, which is reflected back up here. But I only want unique items. I don't want duplicates. So this quickly filters out the duplicates, and now I'm searching for basically walls that have a fire rating of some kind, whether it's one hour, two hour. Uh, there are no smoke walls. So from there I um, use basically, I convert the list into strings, and then from there I, I search for a certain string uh, within these, the over, I search for a substring within the string, and here I'm searching for HR, which is the hour, as you can see right here, and right here, two hour, one hour, another one hour. And I search for one hour using code block, and I ignore the case is true, I just put, this is a Boolean, uh, if I put false it would, only look for capital H, capital R's. <clears throat> I didn't want to worry about that just in case there was a fat finger error, so we set that to true. And then we use this condition to basically mask the list. So what comes out of the top part is all of the fire rated walls, which there are 17 different types. And then from there, uh, if you check the out node, you get all of the, um, that's what I'm looking for, all the non-rated walls. And then from there, I just drop it into in a simple uh, Excel file, which you get right here. And then from there, I'm able to go in. Well, I don't need this anymore. And then from there, what you're able to do is you're able to go in and set up VG, which is your, your uh, custom filters. And then, you know, this being a one-hour wall and these blue ones being a two-hour wall. And then from there, you're able to set up sheets kind of like this. Um for the job. So there you have it. Uh, and if you want the, again, the dino script is on, is on the, uh, the repository online. So feel free to take a look at it, download it, mess with it. I don't really care. And uh, if you got any questions, feel free to reach out.